I like to think about this as being a back to the future sort of story. It's not a new idea to build in wood. My connection to wood, I think, came at, as a child hanging out with my grandpa. He used to always say to me that if you cut down a tree, respect its life by turning it into something beautiful. Everything we do in my firm is entirely made of timber and, and ideally some sort of timber innovation that we hope is informing some sort of systemic change in the way we think about approaching the built environment. These are huge panel products um, that come in different formats that can be, you know, three meters wide and, and 12 meters long or, or even longer. These panels allow us to build big buildings which are important for our cities where we need to house a lot of people and employ a lot of people. Um, bringing this material that's often thought about as a rural or a suburban material into the heart of our cities with these bigger buildings. material has been here for so long, but really for the last century we haven't explored it as much as we are today. And that's because steel and concrete came about and those materials were good at solving some of the problems, they just weren't good at their impact from an environmental point of view. Wood, unlike any other major material that we build with, is a material that sequesters carbon, that's storing carbon effectively in the wood products. That incredibly important process is a carbon sink in the forest, but when a tree is taken and hopefully used uh, in a beautiful way in a building that will last for ideally centuries, that piece of wood is storing that carbon dioxide in the material for the life of the building. And that's an incredibly critical part of the way we start to address climate. One of the fundamental opportunities with CLT is that it, it certainly uses a volume of wood that becomes this big carbon sink, which is important. It also uses kind of lower grade of wood, meaning we don't have to cut down such important trees and we can produce and, and create a renewable solution in making these panels. There's been this disconnect, I think, for many people as we've moved and, and become increasingly urban around the world. We know that natural materials, whether it's parks, trees, or wood products coming into an urban environment, fundamentally make us much more healthy as a population and connect us back to this idea that we live in a natural world. I think the most important thing we can do is invest in really high quality buildings or products that are really well designed, made out of really durable, enduring materials like wood. We absolutely have the right engineering solution, the right sourcing opportunity, and we can protect our forests in doing so.